Chapters 122 through 136 of Psalms, American Standard Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Stinson. Chapter 122. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go unto the house of Jehovah. Our feet are standing within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, that art builded as a city that is compact together, whither the tribes go up, even the tribes of Jehovah, for an ordinance for Israel, to give thanks unto the name of Jehovah. For there are set thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. For the sake of the house of Jehovah our God, I will seek thy good. End of chapter 122 Chapter 123 Unto thee do I lift up mine eyes, O thou that sittest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look unto Jehovah, our God, until he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Jehovah, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scoffing of those that are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud. End of chapter 123 Chapter 124 if it had not been Jehovah who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been Jehovah who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up alive when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be Jehovah, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of Jehovah, who made heaven and earth. End of chapter 124 Chapter 125 They that trust in Jehovah are as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abideth for ever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so Jehovah is round about his people from this time forth and for evermore, for the scepter of wickedness shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, that the righteous put not forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Jehovah, unto those that are good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. But as for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, Jehovah will lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. End of chapter 125 Chapter 126 When Jehovah brought back those that returned to Zion, we were like unto them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the nations, Jehovah hath done great things for them. Jehovah hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Jehovah, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with joy, bringing his sheaves with him. End of chapter 126 Chapter 127 Except Jehovah build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except Jehovah keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to take rest late, to eat the bread of toil, for so he giveth unto his beloved sleep. Lo, children are a heritage of Jehovah, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be put to shame when they speak with their enemies in the gate. End of chapter 127 Chapter 128 Blessed is every one that feareth Jehovah, that walketh in his ways. 
for thou shalt eat the labour of thy hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine. In the innermost parts of thy house thy children like olive plants, round about thy table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth Jehovah. Jehovah bless thee out of Zion, and see thou the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, see thou thy children's children. Peace be upon Israel. End of chapter 128 Chapter 129 Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth up. Let Israel now say. Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth up. Yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back. They made long their furrows. Jehovah is righteous. He hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them be put to shame and turned backward. All they that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which withereth before it groweth up, wherewith the reaper filleth not his hand, nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom. Neither do they that go by say, The blessing of Jehovah be upon you. We bless you in the name of Jehovah. End of chapter 129 Chapter 130 Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Jehovah, Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Jehovah, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for Jehovah, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord, more than watchmen wait for the morning, yea, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, Hope in Jehovah, for with Jehovah there is loving kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. End of chapter 130. Chapter 131. Jehovah, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters, or in things too wonderful for me. Surely I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in Jehovah, from this time forth and for evermore. End of chapter 131 Chapter 132 Jehovah, remember for David all his affliction, how he sware unto Jehovah, and vowed unto the mighty one of Jacob, Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes, or slumber to mine eyelids, until I find out a place for Jehovah, a tabernacle for the mighty one of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it in Ephrathah, we found it in the field of the wood. We will go into his tabernacles, we will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Jehovah, into thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. Jehovah hath sworn unto David in truth, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant, and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon thy throne for evermore. For Jehovah hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place for ever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Her priests also will I clothe with salvation and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bud. I have ordained a lamp for mine anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. End of chapter 132 Chapter 133 Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity, it is like the precious oil upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard. 
that came down upon the skirt of his garments, like the dew of Hermon, that cometh down upon the mountains of Zion. For there Jehovah commanded the blessing, even life, for evermore. End of chapter 133 Chapter 134 Behold, bless ye Jehovah, all ye servants of Jehovah, that by night stand in the house of Jehovah. Lift up your hands to the sanctuary, and bless ye Jehovah. Jehovah bless thee out of Zion, even he that made heaven and earth. End of chapter 134 Chapter 135 Praise ye Jehovah, praise ye the name of Jehovah. Praise him, O ye servants of Jehovah, ye that stand in the house of Jehovah, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise ye Jehovah, for Jehovah is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For Jehovah hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that Jehovah is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever Jehovah pleased, that hath he done, in heaven and in earth, in the seas and in all deeps, who causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth, who maketh lightnings for the rain, who bringeth forth the wind out of his treasuries, who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent signs and wonders into the midst of the O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants, who smote many nations and slew mighty kings, Sihon king of the Amorites, and Og king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for a heritage, a heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Jehovah, endureth for ever, thy memorial name, O Jehovah, throughout all generations. For Jehovah will judge his people, and repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not, eyes have they, but they see not, they have ears, but they hear not, neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them shall be like unto them, yea, every one that trusteth in them. O house of Israel, bless ye Jehovah. O house of Aaron, bless ye Jehovah. O house of Levi, bless ye Jehovah. Ye that fear Jehovah, bless ye Jehovah. Blessed be Jehovah out of Zion, who dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye Jehovah. End of chapter 135 Chapter 136 O give thanks unto Jehovah, for he is good, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. O give thanks unto the God of gods, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. O give thanks unto the Lord of lords, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that by understanding made the heavens, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that spread forth the earth above the waters, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that made great lights, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. The sun to rule by day, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his loving kindness endureth for ever and brought out Israel from among them, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that divided the Red Sea in sunder, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that led his people through the wilderness, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. To him that smote great kings, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. And slew famous kings, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. And gave their land for a heritage, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. Even a heritage unto Israel his servant, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his loving kindness endureth for ever, and hath delivered us from our adversaries, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. 
O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his loving kindness endureth for ever. End of chapter 136